live. All right, let's do this. So uh, we're doing a team I'm in a car. It's been a while since we've done one of these. So we've got Trisha Kopeck and Fred Scheuer and Stefan Wiesen in the car. Uh, and this one we wanted to do a little topic around firing bullets before cannonballs. And uh, the concept comes from Jim Collins out of Great by Choice. And the idea, the idea is pretty simple and uh, it comes from an analogy of back in the day when they were um, at war, like naval, naval war, and they'd have these big warships and they only had a certain amount of cannonballs on the ships because they weighed so much so that the people on the ships would line up and aim with guns and fire bullets across until they hit their target and then they'd calibrate the cannons under the same trajectory as the bullets so that when they shot they didn't waste a cannonball and they destroyed the ship they were trying to shoot. And so as much as that's a bit of a violent analogy, uh, the idea kind of rings true in business where if you want to make a decision and try something new, uh, you work on firing a bullet before you fire the cannonball. And so when I'm in a car, we were using my phone for the longest time. Uh, we had like a really rickety uh, mount to start with and then we got a better mount and then we got uh, a, better, a better phone, it got more clear. But then we're like, okay, you know what? It's getting some traction, we're getting really good feedback, let's buy some equipment. So now, uh, that you can see it because I can't it. film the camera. It looks pretty cool though. Uh, we got a new rig. Hopefully the audio is a lot better in listening to this one in the past and the, the clarity of the video is a lot better. So we've actually, you know, fired Upgrade. a little bit of a cannonball and upgraded all the gear. Yeah. So we're going to kind of go around the car and hear about every, other people that have fired bullets and, and before they fired cannonballs. So Trisha, what, what's your story around firing bullets? Yeah, so we've been playing around a lot with um, email automation and drip campaigns and we're trying to find a way to get leads without putting as many resources into it. Um, so we compiled the giant list of a thousand prospects and instead of having our sales team having to call all these prospects, which would take a very long time, we created an email drip campaign with plain text emails, um, which had made them really personalized. Uh, so we didn't want to try it out on our clients yet, so we tried it out on ourselves and we had great success with it But um, we tend to do that a lot at Intrigue where we try things out on ourselves before we do it for our clients Which is always um, yeah, a good that. test as to whether it's going to work or not and whether we're going to see success in it or not So that's my story. Yeah, now the cannonball is we just invested in a, uh, a platform That's gonna uh, leverage the opportunity to build you know dozens of campaigns yeah. over time and have uh, Drip campaigns running like crazy. So yeah. we, we fired the cannonball this morning. Yeah, which is did. great and the bullet was shot probably a couple months ago, so it's perfect timing. I'm really yeah. excited to see what comes out of it. So, uh, Freddy, yeah, fire, got, uh, firing bullets. He was, let him see the camera so he can just make sure that he's... Uh, yeah, so for me, it's about uh, putting up TVs in different waiting areas, and uh, you know, a few of them were, like one of them, I put a TV in a uh, automobile waiting room, um, right. J&P Automotive. And, uh, you know, after a few years, I gauged the feedback from clients and a lot of people see their ads there. So now I'm uh, looking for more waiting rooms and automotive uh, mechanic shops. Cool. And then, you know, the same token is I did one in a storage uh, facility and just because he had a TV that was uh, doing nothing and the feedback wasn't quite there. So I didn't go out and seek more uh, storage facilities, but it's just about testing the waters. I guess before going all in. Yeah, that's awesome. So you try and know which different locations, and then which ones get the best feedback. Exactly. Rock it. Seek out more. That's cool, man. Yeah. Stefan. Yeah, sure. I mean, I, I can speak from a financial perspective to, to the benefits of our organization and other organizations. It's it's quite obvious, but it makes total sense uh, not to go full blown into a big investment, spend a lot of money, and then to find out, uh, yeah, it didn't work out. So it's a step-to-step to, to step approach and it really minimizes our risk and it helps us, A, to market a product better, gain experience there, but also reducing the financial risk. And from my perspective, that's quite uh, quite sound and I like it. So uh, can you give us an example of something that we've done? Um, yes, for instance, we have developed this new video trivia game. Mm -hmm. So in order to make a the full final steps of our development. So we said, okay, let's stop it right here, bring it out into very few selected locations, uh, do some trial and error, do some tweaking. Uh, it's frustrating that we can't go full to market immediately, but again, that stage approach will eventually give us a better product and a more financially sound approach to the overall project. Yeah, that's true, right? Because even the first one we implemented uh, kind of broke the system with like memory leakage and all this kind of stuff. Yes. So taking this, you know, we're firing a whole bunch of little bullets all over the place before we put a whole bunch of resources into it. That's yes. awesome. So anyway, long story short, 
if you have an opportunity to, to try something, you know, find a way to see if you can minimize the risk, like Stefan was saying, fire some bullets, try something low risk. If it hits the target, then put some more resources into it. Um, and if you want like more details on the whole thing, it's uh, Jim Collins, Great by Choice. It's an awesome read. So uh, maybe it's a great read by definition. Yeah, so, so check it out. Uh, thanks for doing uh, this new gear test with us in an I Am In A Car. And that's it. Can you cut us yeah. off? We're off to lunch. <laughs> off to lunch. <laughs>